am so excited. This is such a treat. I feel like I never get to talk to you about Rocket. Oh, yeah, yeah, I that's mean, true. Most of the if ever signed stuff, it's usually Rocket. Is that the role you get approached about the most? Oh, yeah, by far. How did you find the voice? Like, I always am like, that's Bradley Cooper, and I'm trying to find it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, we just, uh, I just created it with James. We worked on it. I had like a bunch of ideas, and we sort of landed. Uh, you know, it was fun. It was, it was kind of crazy that the, the, that process. But once we landed on him, it felt right, and then, and then it just, then it was like, it was like sort of that was it. We were off to the races. And James always talks about how Rocket's his favorite character. Rocket is really the main character of the Guardians trilogy. So, what can you tease about this movie, which seems like I'm going to be in a puddle of tears. Well, you know, he did talk to me about that initially, too, that he felt he had this sort of end game for Rocket and us learning about his origin. And you never know if that's actually going to happen. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, we get to this third script, and I read it, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's exactly what he talked about. And um, it, it was, the emotional is the right word. You know, I watched a, a cut of it a while ago, and I cried pretty hard. Just why? I mean, I, I yeah. I mean, it's pretty hardcore, a little rocket. Like, he went through a lot. Dude, eyes. he went through a lot, yeah. He's like, oh, I just want to yeah. help him. That's the least of it. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Um, is, this has been described as one last ride, so is this your final time playing Rocket Raccoon, do you think? I, I, I go wherever James tells me. Yeah. He's got a big, he's got a big thing going on over with DC. Do you have your eye on any characters or no, directing but, that you'd like to do over no, there? No, but like, I just think he's incredible. I love Peacemaker. I love that series he did. I thought that was incredible. Like, blew me away. And I just think he's, uh, you know, as I said, I'm just glad he's he's working, making movies, and television. I'm trying to learn the Peacemaker opening sequence. Uh, the dance. Yeah. So, I mean, it's incredible, isn't that? It shows. Did you watch the whole thing? Yes, I loved yeah, it. It's I, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, John Cena is incredible. That uh, vigilante character. Oh, dude, so insane! Funny. So yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. That show's nuts. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I'd love to see you over there. Yeah, over there. In, yeah, we gotta see. We gotta see this beautiful face <laughs> <laughs> in front of the camera. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. So you said people come up to you the most and talk about Rocket. Don't talk about Rocket. Just ask get, me to oh, just. <laughs> where does Rocket rank for you out of all the characters you've played? You've stayed with that character for a I while. Know. I, I don't know, but I love him. But yeah. yeah, it's got to be something special for something you embody oh, for so yes. long. That, that's the thing, to be able to like have him evolve and, yeah, it's nuts. And, and to play him, you know, because I record it all after they shoot it. And I did, did him, I mean, I've been in various places around the world. And I think back, like, we, James and I have worked together in so many crazy locations. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really kind of amazing. Oh, yeah. amazing. Bradley, thank you so much. Thank so you.